All new tonight, Central Connecticut State University will no longer be a dry campus soon. It's participating in a pilot program allowing students 21 years and older to have alcohol in their dorms. Channel 3's Courtney Zeller is live now with the details. Legally have alcohol in their dorms. <laughs> Yes, legally you have to be 21. It will begin this fall and it's only for two dorms on Central's campus. Now you might be wondering why they decided to make this switch. Well, they tell us it's what some students wanted. If you're a student living on Central Connecticut State University's campus in New Britain and you're 21, you might be able to bring alcohol into your dorm. Well, I think it's a good idea. It'll help uh, kids come here, maybe attract more kids that are looking at campus because kids that are coming from out of state, maybe they see that they don't have the chance when they turn 21 to be able to do that. I think it's a good thing, but um, if you're 21, I mean, it would be logical, I guess, if you could bring booze into your dorm or whatever. The university is allowing two dorms, Thomas Gallaudet Hall and F. Don James Hall, to have alcohol. They sent the announcement to students. The pilot program starts this fall and will last one year. The college did a poll last year asking students what they wanted from the on-campus housing. And asked students, you know, if we were to allow alcohol in the buildings, would they come back onto campus and um, around I believe just over 50% said they would consider coming back. And that makes sense. They're 21 years old. They would like to be able to do what adults are allowed to do. The vice president for student affairs says there will be education about alcohol use. Responsible drinking, minimizing the amount that they're consuming, understand what the effects are, um, understanding how that can impact their academics. And so it's a way for us to be able to maintain that educational piece, bring our students back onto campus and have them participate in campus life as well. And after the year is up, the university says they will take a look at how this impacted the community, how it impacted students, and then they'll decide whether they want to keep it uh, or just toss it. We, of course, will keep you posted on when they collect all of that data. But again, that won't be until another year or so. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom tonight. Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.